So, in our hot toddy, uh, a lot of it was what... I forgot an ingredient. Boop. All right, welcome to a special edition to Tavern on Tap. This is the edition where I try to play with a GoPro. <laughs> and in this, in this episode, I am going to show off one of my favorite distilleries that I've discovered, because it is their year anniversary. Uh, that is the Happy Raptor Distillery. As you can see, I have almost all of the stones for Thanos' affinity rings in my hands. I just need the silver. And it's a really awesome infusion, uh, fusion distillery. Essentially, they start off with the silver, the one I do not have, and they infuse different ingredients into it. So they fuse different uh, barrel chips for their gold right here. And then for the herbal, the hibiscus, I'm sorry, spice rum, different hibiscus, of course. The banana frosted, they use real bananas. And for the king cake one that we'll be showing off today, we're it does it from a different uh, cinnamon sticks and all kinds of different ingredients into the infusion. And each of it is organic, each of it is, uh, a lot of it is also from Louisiana. So if you really like supporting Louisiana things, like I know you do, uh, supporting Happy Raptor supports two things. And, I think we're going to showcase the king cake rum today by making a hot toddy. It is colder than it ever was when I started filming in New Orleans. Probably colder than I have ever been in New Orleans. So let's see if we can warm New Orleans up while keeping that Mardi Gras spirit alive. Check out my hot toddy. So first things first, we're going to take our uh, king cake rum. 504 King Cake Rum. Now usually it's made with bourbon, so you can use definitely uh, any bourbon that you really find in particularly well. I would say Houdat Bourbon is really awesome to use in this drink also, which we'll feature in a later edition. But yeah, we're gonna get about two ounces of that. That may sound a pretty, that might sound pretty boozy, but nah, it's not too boozy. It's not too, too bad. And we're gonna put it right into our thing. Now, there are big hot toddy cups you can get, as we spill a little booze. Uh, but I am uh, washing mine. <laughs> as I tried this recipe out a bunch of times to make sure that it was good. And then I had to run through the dishwasher. And then we're gonna do half an ounce of our lemon juice as I already squeezed right here. Make sure you get nice fresh lemons. They also really add to the drink. Uh, the fresher the better, of course. And uh, also too, you know, get those lemons out of there. Use them for cocktails. And then we're gonna about to use two bar spoons of honey. I love honey, so I might put a little bit extra, but we're gonna do that and squeeze that. Oh my gosh. And just watch it kind of drip right there. That's the kind of stuff Pooh Brayer would be proud of. Look at that. Boom. And we're gonna get another little teaspoon of our honey. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure. And we're going to stir that up. Make sure we get all the honey into our, uh, get that honey kind of moving as you can kind of see. Or can't, because I didn't tilt the cup. So this is gonna, get, I can already smell like the niceness of the rum with the, uh, with the honey. Does a really nice job. And then I'm going to signal for my fiance to bring the hot water as we pour into the cup. All right, thank you. Oop. All right, so now this part, uh, I've looked around. If you're someone who wants exact measurements, uh, some people say four ounces of hot water, some people say 16 ounces. I always just, uh, what we used to say in high school, the Irish way of me measuring, eyeballing it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that is the high school way of doing it, but we're going to just pour it in and we're going to give it a nice stir. Now, I would suggest not doing it as boily hot as mine. But uh, do as you want, you know? You can also adjust it. Uh, if you want to leave a little room, if you find that it's not boozy enough for you, that can leave to you. I might put a little honey, because I like a lot of honey in my uh, kind of tea. Now I'm gonna ask for my lovely fiance if she could take this boiling hot water before I spill it on myself, because I'm getting close to it. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that, movie magic. All right, now we wanna, I'm gonna put a little bit more honey in mine cause I like, I like honey. And we're not gonna put um, any simple into this one. The honey should act as kind of our simple into the cocktail. 
and give it a nice like stir to make sure that honey dissolves. So we're not just drinking like rum water. That's kind of not what we want to just drink is rum water. All right. And then we can put our lemon on the side. And look how good that looks into our, look how good that looks into our glass right there. Boom. So look at that. So that's gonna be our hot toddy. So now you can take your lemon. I'm trying to get better at garnishing and working a GoPro. That's a, it's a lot to demand for one, for one gnome to, to do in one day. So then you can even drop your little lemon in there to kind of give it a nice thing. Now hot toddies are perfect for if you have a sore, if your throat hurts, have a hot toddy. Um, it's freezing cold outside like it is. Have a hot toddy. So it's gonna have a lot. And let's go straight into the tasting notes. All right, so let's try our hot toddy. Look, it's kind of smoking. Let me get kind of in the center. Let's try our hot toddy. Mm. Okay, so now immediately what I smell is I smell that kind of king cake rum and I smell a nice little honeyness to it. So it's gonna add a little bit of sweetness to it. I put a lot of honey because I love a tea with honey. I mostly love honey tea with my honey. Oh, that's delicious. Whoo, man, that's delicious. So now I immediately get the nice, I get a little lemon with a little honey, but then the little cinnamon notes that I figured would go really well in the king cake rum, those are really shining on the back end of the, of the hot toddy. And that's what I think is really what's good about using this instead of maybe your normal hot toddies with bourbons and all of that. That's why I really wanted to, to showcase uh, the Happy Raptor King Cake Rum in this drink because I knew that the ingredients together would work very well, you know, because I'm the gnome, man. I'm an expert. <laughs> or, at least, or at least I pretend to be on one on TV. And you know what makes us even better? This awesome mug, which you can also get one down, down below. <laughs> you got to do a little bit of marketing for you. But check out Happy Raptor. They have awesome, great cocktails. I'll be making some more probably in the next couple of days. Uh, depending on how well this one looks, how this one comes out. And if you know any GoPro advice, definitely put it down the thing, down the description below. Also too, this is seasonal. So you gotta go get it, you gotta go get it as soon as you can. And we'll be having more interviews and more works with Happy Raptor. Really great distillery. Love you guys. I even, you know, I loved it so much I bought the hat. That, that, that's how you know you love something is when you buy their product. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> and I hope this hot toddy warms you up at home. And remember, the tavern's always open.